Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing great today. You know, there's still a lot of people, tens of thousands of people that are still downloading Grand Theft Auto V and they bought it through different ways, through Steam or through Epic Games or possibly even through Social Club itself. They just downloaded it through Rockstar. That is called the retail version. So I'm gonna show you how to find your main game directory because you simply just wanna play the game or maybe you just wanna mod the game. So you have to find your main game directory first, right? So I'm gonna show you the tried and true reason and the easiest way to find your main game directory in today. Today's video. Okay, let's start with Steam users first, since they're probably the majority that buy it through Steam. Let's go ahead and go to Steam, and you're going to find your Grand Theft Auto 5 program that is installed in your library. Go to uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, you're going to right click, go to Properties, and click on Local Files, and then you're going to click on Browse, and that is your main game directory right there. Uh, keep a note of that because you can also save this as a favorite. That's what I usually do. And I'll pin it to my taskbar at the very bottom. So you can always think about doing that. You can kind of scroll up a little bit. Then you can click on right click. Then you can pin it to your quick access. Or maybe you can pin it to your start button. And that way you can easily access it by simply just going to this. And then you can find your main game directory rather easy. Now for Epic Games. Believe it or not, it is just as easy as it is with Steam. What you're going to do is pull up your Epic Games launcher. And then you can go ahead and click on right here where it says library. Now I'm going to give you a little disclaimer. Unfortunately, I didn't get the free version that they offered with Epic Games. Believe it or not, they were giving away Grand Theft Auto V for free about two and a half years ago. And I dropped the ball, guys. I forgot to download it that week. So unfortunately, I don't have it installed, but it is the same premise behind Grand Theft Auto V that you have installed through Epic Games. But I'm going to show you through a different game that I have. It's called Chivalry 2, but it's the same premise. You would see it in your library. I click on installed right over here. Now they have a couple of games installed through Epic Games because I really don't use the program very often. And then what you do is pretend this is Grand Theft Auto V right here, okay? You're going to click on the little dots right here next to it and you're going to go to manage right there. And then you're going to click on this little folder right here that everybody seems to miss and you're gonna click on that folder right there. And that will show you where your Grand Theft Auto V directory is through Epic Games. You can also verify files just in case you ever I need to update your game. But it's how you would verify files or Grand Theft Auto V through Epic Games. Now, if you went to the internet through like Social Club or Rockstar itself and you downloaded Grand Theft Auto V itself through that way, that is called the retail version. So I'm going to show you how to find it on your computer and you can go to File Explorer of any kind. Uh, I have mine pinned to the taskbar. Yours may be like in a search function on your browser. Or you may have like a little folder on your desktop. It really doesn't matter. Uh, you can just simply go to any folder. And as long as it's a file explorer, so you can get to your menu back over here to the left. Now I have a uh, this PC at the very bottom of the screen. Here's maybe at the very top. It really just depends on your layout of your computer. But I go to this PC and you'll see your hard drives. The default pathway for re the retail version for Rockstar Games Grand Theft Auto V is your Windows C drive. Go to Program Files and then go to Rockstar Games and then it'll be right there. Now, I made a little folder there. That one's empty, believe it or not. So, cause I don't have it installed that way. I have mine through Steam. So it would look just like this. You would double click and you'd find your Grand Theft Auto V directory that way. I'm about to go ahead and wrap it up guys. Uh, thank you for watching this very short video and uh, hopefully you'll like and subscribe if you are new. I'd love to have you over here. You guys take care and we'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.